if f and g are continuous functions with f of 3 equal to 5 and the limit as x approaches 3 of 2 times f of x minus g of x is equal to 4, then we want to find g of 3. Well, we know that f and g are continuous. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to evaluate this limit as x approaches 3 of the functions 2 times f of x minus g of x. Okay, now if we use our limit laws, then that means that this becomes the limit as x approaches 3 of 2 times f of x minus the limit as x approaches 3 of g of x. So now let's evaluate this function as the limit is approaching 3. So that means the inputs are going to become 3. So that means that this now becomes 2 times f of 3 minus g of 3. Well, what do we know about f of 3? Well, we can see that f of 3 up here is equal to 5. So therefore, we can then apply that. So that means this becomes 2 times 5 minus g of 3. So 2 times 5 is 10 minus g of 3. So now the other information that we have from this problem is that this entire limit is equal to 4. So what that tells us is is that this is equal to 4. Which means this is equal to 4, which means this is equal to 4, this is equal to 4, and this is equal to 4. And now what we can do is we can solve for g of 3 by isolating it here. So we can subtract 10 to both sides. We get negative g of 3, which is equal to 4 minus 10, which is negative 6 and then divide both sides by the negative one. And so therefore, g of three is going to equal six.